It's a rainy, gloomy day out, hoping the weather changes. Jason and I are currently at the powerhouse gym in Syracuse. About to do some legs, and then we're gonna do stuff outside today. I don't know if we'll be able to now. First, starting with a good stretch to warm up my hips. My hips have been super tight with running more, so on leg day, I notice especially, I need to spend a little bit more time with my warm up, making sure I warm up my body a little bit more, stretch everything out to not get injured. Did a little shopping, but now we're gonna head to lunch and we're going somewhere different if they're open. Are they not open? Why? Well, we were about to try somewhere new at King David. I actually broke and said, okay, let's do something. Jason was like, if you wanna go there, we'll go there. They had shish kebabs. Shish kebabs. All right, let's figure out option number two. Kara's watching her own videos to make her <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Buckwheat pancakes. Since we uh, didn't end up eating out, this is gonna be my first meal, and actually, this sounds better to me. So, we'll show you. I the couldn't remember the recipe. Check it out on Tiger Fitness YouTube channel. I do these recipes sometimes, and then I don't. I do so many of them, I forget about some of them. So, so it's a Sunday. He's leaning on me. Look at that size difference. My breakfast is ready. So my buckwheat blueberry pancakes use frozen blueberries and some MTS blueberry muffin protein. But you get four giant pancakes. It's a huge ass stack. Hold one up to your head. Do the head comparison. That's probably not the biggest one, but... It's still pretty good. It turns out pretty good. So it ends up being about 50 carbs, which is perfect, because I worked out and haven't ate, with three strips of center cut bacon. And that's just what sounded good. It's cold out. This sounds like, you know, warm and toasty food. And it's also, for me today, intuitive day of eating day. So I'm not doing refeeds right now. We switched to more of an intuitive eating approach where I don't have to track. I just kind of listen to my body, but at the same time, you still want to keep your goals in mind. So I'm actually I've only done it once, but I really enjoy it. So this is what your girl wanted today. This video is at tigerfitness.com. Did you already see that, Jack? I did, but I don't think it's on my channel Always yet. plug the... Always... Tigerfitness.com if you guys want to find the video for the buckwheat blueberry pancakes. Tigerfitnessyoutube, not .com. Oh yeah, ti well, yeah. yeah. Um, I eat them plain. Those are good like that. I see them steaming. The steam action. How are they? Really good. Can I see the inside? Can the people see the inside? You gotta do it like this for a good inside shot. There you go. Get in there. Ooh, look at that. That looks good. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Intuitive eating day continues. And while my food was cooking, because I couldn't wait a whole five minutes for the microwave, 
I snacked on some of these tomato basil rice cakes. Those are my favorite. They're seriously like crack. I could probably eat the whole bag. But what I'm gonna eat now, something I don't typically eat but sounded good and it's fairly macro friendly if you like macaroni and cheese, um, which I do, but I don't eat it a lot. And I also don't eat a lot of like frozen meal type things, but this Lean Cuisine Vermont white cheddar mac and cheese is super good and the macros on it are not too shabby. So. Yeah, it's not a whole food, but this is 250 calories, 6 fat, 35 carbs, and 14 grams of protein. So that's really not bad for um, a freezer meal type thing. These do tend to be higher in sodium. But what I did was I cooked that, and then I just mixed it in with some cooked ground beef that we already had to make it a little bit higher in protein. I'm just going to... I actually like this mixed in all together. And it might be weird, but I'm gonna put a little drizzle of the low sugar ketchup on top. It's almost kind of like shepherd's pie in a way. So don't don't knock it if you haven't tried it, but it's really good. So I'm gonna eat that right now. Put a little drizzle of that on. Shall be good. This is like the kind of stuff I grew up on. It's like hamburger helper. Does anyone remember hamburger helper? I think they still sell it, but. I feel like those are the types of foods I grew up on, hence why I like little food combinations like this. Don't ask me what my hair is doing today because I have no freaking clue. Um, it's now seven o'clock. I don't know where the day has went and I'm feeling pretty hungry right now, but I'm also feeling very uninspired by the food I have in my house. Um, I just feel like I have like no vegetables and I don't know, I'm being like really picky. It's weird, especially like, so when you're like doing more intuitive eating, you're not like guided by these numbers. Like sometimes when you're following macros, you just choose things because it fits the macros good. You know, not all the time, but a lot of times, you know, like I just kind of see what works best with the macros and I eat based on numbers versus what sounds good, what I think is healthiest for me and all those types of things. So right now, honestly, what I'm craving is just like a big salad, like something hydrating with like lots of lettuce and veggies and fruits. And so I think we might go out and get salads. Oftentimes disappointed when I get salads at other places versus making it myself. But then I'm also feeling a little lazy. So, hey babe. Trying this eating out thing one more time. Let's hope it goes all right. We're here at Paneer Bread. Don't let me down. Better be good. It's all booties. Love some. Pro tip at Panera: use the fast lane kiosk. Not due to the line, because you get to go on here and you can customize your order. Getting. Here's what I'm ordering, the blueberry and white balsamic salad. And the stuff in red, I'm not getting. The stuff in green, I added to it. I'm gonna do the plum ginger hibiscus tea. Just going by looks, I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing by the Panera salad. Although I did add a couple extras to it, but this baby's looking pretty bulky. All the greens. Chicken, strawberries, blueberries, pecans, onions, cucumbers, Parmesan cheese, and a little baby watermelon fruit cup. It's adorable. Salad wasn't cheap though, 15 bones. Babes was not let down. Mm mm. It was this so is like good. the best salad I've ever had, like in a long time. Ever from Panera. Yeah. Hands down. So good. They didn't jit, like jit me on the stuff in it. It was just a really good flavor combination. Back home, I'm still super full from that salad. It was so good, so delicious. And I definitely will not be eating again. It's after nine o'clock. And that was my day of intuitive eating. Um, 
it's just nice to try out once in a while for those of you that are macro trackers, uh, maybe you're even in a, re a reverse like myself. I, <laughs> look at that drool though. Is it because I'm so damn good looking? Is that right? Um, I think it's always good to still give yourself a day um, to try it out and remind yourself to trust your body and trust listening to yourself and see how it goes. <laughs> He's such a kisser right now. Holy crap. So anyways, that was my day of intuitive eating. I'm doing that one day a week right now and then we'll eventually um, most likely be increasing that to like a couple times a week. We're going to see how it goes and super excited that it's a long weekend. Normally on a Sunday night, I'd already be in bed and you know, getting ready for the work day. But with Labor Day tomorrow, Jason and I both are fortunate enough to have the day off. And today was great because it was like a rainy, crappy day outside. So we've truly just like chilled at home all day, which we almost never do. I mean, I we left a couple times obviously, but it's just nice to be at home, relaxed, not having to track macros, wearing a flannel shirt because it was like fall out. I mean, it was just, it's been such a great weekend. And then we have tomorrow as well. And it's supposed to be like 80 and sunny out, which is crazy. The weather just keeps going up and down all around. But yeah, it's going to be it for me. Sipping on my tea still. And... Oh, crap. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below if you do intuitive eating. Um, if so, how you go about practicing it or maybe why you don't do intuitive eating, what's holding you back. I would like to know. Please comment below and we can discuss more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one. With all my pineapple bun. It's luscious.